All life has two instinctual impulses that no amount of tinkering or engineering, biological or otherwise, can ever hope to overcome. One, survival. Two, reproduction. With man, with man, uh, you can add a third, domination. Man? Oh, boy. All right, anyway, you're not wrong, which is even more reason we'll need to research a drug to act as a countermeasure to the dinosaurs' breeding. Well, they've had a free run of the island for a while, so we've got to assume that they've been mating. It would be a recurrence plot. Which is what, exactly? Although the world is in a constant state of chaos, certain events can be predicted because they happen repeatedly, regardless of the initial conditions. And an organism trying to perpetuate its DNA would be one of those. Or maybe it's the tropical island paradise setting. You know, works for, uh, works for newlyweds. <laughs> you know, it could also be the food. Yeah, perhaps, but considering what some of the dinosaurs have consumed, let's hope not. No. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Oh, I think we've developed a drug that should inhibit breeding. Dr. Malcolm, can you get a team together to administer it? Well, a ranger team can shoot them with darts while I watch safely and securely from a distance. <laughs> do, do these ranger teams ever do ride-alongs? You know, for you, Finch, I, I believe they'd make an exception. Deploy the breeding countermeasure. Test one dinosaur from each species. Okay. Let's drive the vehicle. Let's actually get a little bit more involved this time rather than just click clack and and be like, okay, Ranger, go here and shoot the dart. I'm gonna actually shoot it now. You know, I'm like, I was just taking the photos just a moment ago. I was pretty involved with that, but let's actually shoot these creatures over here with the darts, the countermeasure, breeding countermeasure darts. So we had Gallimimus over here, Parasaur. I think we had Trikes over here too. That'd be four creatures over here in the bracket. That'd be four. Oh God, look at all of them. And then I guess we'll have to get like either Dilophosaurus or, uh, uh, Velociraptor or something like that, right? But they're like penned in their, uh, their thing, so I don't think we could do that. But let's go to, I guess, Medicaid, right? So that would be, there you go. And then we'd have to dart rifle. There you go. I assume the counter me countermeasure thing is part of the Medicaid. And we'll have to wait for us to kind of zero in. And oh, yeah, there's a little bit of throw I need to compensate for. Oh, man, I... Eh. Got a hit right there, nice. Green countermeasure deployed on the Gallimimus. Now we've got a big hit. Oh, I overcompensate on that one. There you go. Big target right there. Got it on the Brachios. That's good. And we have some Parasaurs back there. Just kind of roaring. Got a hit on the Parasaurs. So that's three. And you get Trike next. Where are they at? Oh, they're really far back there. I don't know if I'll be able to hit them from here. That was a hit. That was a hit. Oh, nice. Awesome. Okay. Well, that was all the creatures over here, guys. That's great. So now, like I said, Glophosaurus or Raptor, and I think the Raptors are... Wait, what are these over here? Are those rocks? Oh yeah, those are just rocks. I thought they were like something like sleeping right there. <laughs> I don't know if you guys were fooled either. But they look like like a pack of something that were sleeping right there. <laughs> Let's go over to the Glophosaurus area. Now, where is that though? I'm gonna have to get out of the Ranger thing to figure it out. I think it was somewhere over here. And it's... Yeah, that's Carnivore. Yeah, the Law of Zors. Okay, so there it is right there. Now, how do we get to there from here? So we have to go to this. Can we go through the, uh, the, the tour, like, truck gate thing? I don't know if we can or not. Might have to go through the regular gate. What is this? Hold on. Oh, the Law of Zors sign right there. Yeah, I saw there were, like, signs. Okay, so we could have East Dock, Helipad, Visitor Center. What is this up here? Ground light, restroom, and... Aviary. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah, I know there's like an aviary. That, they added a bunch of stuff to this DLC, guys. I, I feel like we're going to have a ton of fun in this DLC, but the. Uh, well, looks like the other range is just now arriving back. Let's go drive this one, though. And so uh, I guess just follow the path or follow the uh, the tour, like track or whatever. And then try and find our way over to the Lost Source area. Or at least, you know, follow the signs or something like that, right? Oh, is that it right there? I think it was. Yes, I think. Let's go through this gate. And there's going to be a second gate that takes us to the... Okay, yeah, here it is right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely remember this. Okay. Let's go through. Let's try and find the dilos. Let's go through the water. Oh, there's one right there. Now, let's get medication. Lure it in. Oh, 
dart rifle. And it's aiming on these guys. Let's get that one to stand still. I got to compensate a bit. Got a hit. Nice. <gasps> Stretcher broken. Uh oh. It's happening again, Hammond. No, I won't allow it. Sabotage. You may not have that choice, John. Finch, I need to know. Do you have a report? It looks like the computer systems are under attack. John, we're being hacked. Dr. Malcolm is correct. The corrupted code has also affected the power grid. No, no, no. Don't say the gates are open. I won't, but they are. Protection needs to be our top priority for the dinosaurs and the staff. I'm staff, right? Let's get the power grid back. That should help with staff safety. And I am staff, obviously. <laughs> I've got programmers hardening the code as we speak. Finch, you'll help us get the personnel secured. Yes, the personnel, the, the staff, of which I am unquestionably one. <laughs> All right, we'll use the Ranger teams to reboot the sabotage power station and gates. All right, let's use the Ranger teams, and of course, we have to actually manually do it. So let's go over to the gates and stuff. I probably should have now. That I thought about it. now. There's a there. The okay, reboot that. There was a Ranger. Jeep, like right at the Dilo area. Probably should have done it, but I was too busy paying attention to their. Uh, okay, sabotage resolved. That's good. I was too busy uh, paying attention to their dialogue, unfortunately. But the Ranger or uh, the Raptors are inside of their like Raptor pens, so that's good. Or should be, right? Golly. So we probably worry about them a little bit here in the future. But for right now, those Dilos. Or is it right here? I think, yeah. But there is a gateway over here that has trikes, I think, right? So let's definitely shut that because it's like right there. I guess we might as well do it. Just in case anything happens. But there you go. Reboot that. And over here's the dialers. I don't know if we can go through this. Is it going to open? Oh, it is. Okay, so that's good. So I don't have to go through the other one, though. That's great. Let's actually reboot this one. That's good. We have five of them still to go. One of them's right in front of us, so four. One of them's a raptor. Mm, reboot that. There you go. I don't know where the other ones are, but at least I can see at the mini-map at the top, I can see all four of them are ahead of us. So that's good. Let's keep heading this way. One of them was Raptor. Were there two gates for the, uh, for that enclosure? I think so. Oh man, here's one right here. That's good. So, there we go. That's the Raptor one, I think. Is that rebooting? I think it is. Okay, that's good. Another one up here, it looks. Yep, I see it right there. And I think there's a second one in the Raptor that goes into this enclosure, I think, if I was... If I'm re remembering correctly. Let's actually go through this gate now. Now it's working properly, that is. Is there one that's, like, right here that goes from the Raptor into the other one? Yes. Okay, that's good. Reboot that one. And now there's only one. That is this way. Looking at the minimap at the top of the screen. And it's right there, right in front of us. Alright, great. We're going to be rebooting all of them. And they're done. Counter espionage upgrade. Visitor center research. Okay, let's do that. We've identified some residual flaws in the park operations software. I wonder how they got missed the first time around. You, you've plugged the holes though, right? There's some new counter espionage software that just needs final testing. Keep people out of our business. Mr. Hammond would also like to make sure the dinosaurs are secure and comfortable. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Right. Right. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that's the most common and least true words spoken at uh, Jurassic Park. All right. The system has been rebooted and the gates are working again. Great. And we have the countermeasure or a counter espionage upgrade almost done as well. So that's great. And it is done. There we go. Got it. Nice. All right, ensure no dinos can access central facility buildings in 20 seconds left, so we should be fine on that front. Just got to basically play the waiting game for that. I think we're fine, so I don't think anything is going to break into there, especially with all the gates currently closed now. And of course, we have the research done as well, so should be done. I'm satisfied with the latest reports on park security. Now we can move on to the next great challenge, the dinosaurs. For that, we'll have to journey to the companion island Isla Sorna. Ooh, we're going to Isla Sorna now.
Isla Sorna. We call it Site B. Originally a massive holding pen and secondary research facility for our dinosaurs. Spared no expense. Didn't want to keep all your eggs in one incubator, huh, John? Aye, that is certainly one way to look at it. And another way, John? Yeah, it's also about the diversity of the environment. In other words, you weren't sure they'd survive on Isla Nublar. Darwin's most famous works were centered on species he studied on the Galapagos Islands. Isolated. It also has the benefit of keeping our work away from prying eyes. Yeah, and making potential rescue uh, like thousands of miles away. Always the negative with you, Dr. Malcolm. Jurassic Park Era Unlocked. Sandbox and Challenge Mode. You can now select the Jurassic Park Era when starting a new challenge or sandbox and unlock that. All right, nice. Sounds good to me. Transmission incoming. For now, we focus on the job at hand. Cabot. Yes, sir, Mr. Hammond. So, I think we'll need a new base of operations. Ranger outpost and visitor center, maybe? Would make a good headquarters. Sounds good to me. Construct and connect a ranger outpost and visitor center. Should be easy enough. And the rewards, $600,000. Day Team Bravo, which is actually kind of surprising. I, I wonder if we're actually going to go out and uh, research fossils now. Go out and try and find them and stuff like that. That'd be really cool. And research Team Bravo as well. So we should be able to research two things at once and get things researched twice as fast. Anyways, mission. Welcome to Isla Sorna, home of Site B. As before, this island is going to serve as our factory floor. We're going to set up the infrastructure required to create dinos. Okay, so yeah, to get that, of course, we're going to need to get some DNA from fossils. And that's where the dig team comes into play, right? The excavation team, I think it's called. However, before we can begin, we're going to have to secure the area, construct a visitor center to act as our base of operations, as well as a ranger outpost. Make sure they're powered and connected. Too many dinosaur deaths will result in island failure. Yeah, we know. <laughs> and we're not going to get any uh, any word from anyone right off the bat, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, seems like a blank slate over here, you guys. I don't know where we're going to... to st hold on, is this something over here? No, it's just a lake. <gasps> With some dinos. Stego, Parasaur, Gallimimus. Did you two know about this island? Of course not. We're in the dark as much as you are, Dr. Malcolm. Who knows? Maybe it's just our inferior brains that can't cope with chaos. Hmm. Well, uncertainty, you know, can be a guiding light. Chaos is about the unexpected, and uh, that's, what, uh, that's what I'm here for. Well, I'm here because of the dinosaurs. And because of the lovely Dr. Sattler, if I'm not mistaken. That's really not any business of yours. All right, seems like a good place to put that right there, the visitor center. So we need the visitor center and a ranger outpost. So, uh, also need to get some way of powering all this. So geothermal power station. I suppose we'll slip that in like in the back or something like that. You know, just kind of get that ugliness out of the way. Yeah, I'll put it like right back here. I can. A, yeah, that's a path right there. I can't do that. So put that like right here if I can. There you go. And let's connect it up. Eh, I'm sure I put this. I'll, I'll, I'll connect that up a little bit later. I'll connect it up to a substation pylon a little bit later, but. Now we have that power, or a power station. Let's get a, a ranger outpost as well. As we set down like in front. Eh, about right here actually sounds I, Oh god, yeah, I forgot there's a... I might still be able to connect that. Uh, can I cancel that? I don't know if I can cancel that, you guys. Hold on, bulldozer? Okay, yeah, get a little bit of money back. Yeah, there's a path coming out of the visitor center right there I did not acknowledge. Let's actually place down the path if I can. Okay, I can, that's good. So, there you go, there's a path. Here's another path over here. There you go, here's another path. There you go, just so I know where the paths are. I guess I can connect this up. There you go, right there, that sounds good to me. And let's put down the ranger outpost, put that like back here. I guess let's put it back, let's put it like over here. Oh, that's a thin little, little strip right there. Over there, I guess I'll put the ranger outpost like this way then, huh? Seems like it makes a little bit more sense. Having them a little bit closer to the dinos. So, let's place down this path. Connect it up. Like so, boom. And might as well make this kind of circle around a bit, I suppose. And, I guess I'll... Ah, oh, man, I'm going to get used to this path <laughs> system. I'm so used to playing coaster and, and playing a zoo. Let's, uh, connect these up, if, if possible. And there you go. All right, nice. So, we got this little, like, circle here that we have, uh... Wait, what in the world? Why is this saying, uh... Oh, yeah, no, no substation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So we need to place down that substation and get that placed down like, uh, let's see, I guess I'll place it down like right here between these two, just because we don't have anything else that really needs to be powered. So there's that and sneak the, uh, there you go, the pylons back there and let's connect this up. So there you go. Boom. Now that's connected and requires path connection. Now, where do I need to connect up the path though? I was looking just a moment ago. I don't know where the main path is. Oh God. I completely forgot, I completely disregarded the arrival helipad, you guys. I guess we'll place this down here in the middle. <laughs> this seems like it'll fit pretty well here, so, uh, you know what, you know what, let's do it the other way around. Let's do it like this. Here we go. That, that's good. I think that's what we're missing here, you guys. I think that's the main piece of the puzzle that we were missing just a moment ago, so. And there you go, nice. And I think once it's done being constructed, we should have all these paths technically connected now, so. Let's wait for this to finish real quick. Boom! Okay, there you go. Alan, we need to test our breeding countermeasure on Isla Sorna's wild dinosaur population. Okay, Ali. I've identified a suitable group of dinosaurs. Let's isolate them from the rest to perform tests. Alright, well, I kind of want to preemptively just buy another ranger team real quick, but isolate the group of stegosauruses from other dinosaurs. I think we saw them over here, right? Yeah, here they are over here, so let's let's grab some of these guys. How many do we need? I guess it says the group of Stegos, so I guess all of the Stegos? How many are on this map? Come on, Crithosaurus. Stego would be down here. Momentosaurus. Yeah, we've got a lot of Stegos here, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, eh, yeah, not too many. So I guess we have to isolate all the Stegos then, huh? So we're going to be testing this, uh, the, the breeding thing. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Testing the breeding, like, medication or whatever on these wild dinos, rather than, you know, quote-unquote wild. <laughs> they were all made in egg and lab, right? But, uh, instead of, like, captured, uh, isolated dinos like we had before, we need to test them on these guys, so... Yeah, we have to take, uh... Where are they? Here it is, right here. We have to take the rangers to add task. And, let's see, tranquilize, switch to tranquilize. So we're going to be tranquilizing all these guys over here, so... Yeah, we have two ranger teams now, so we have to do... There you go. Go to another one and let's see. Tranquilize. There we go. Tranquilize these two there. And then maybe once they're, uh, the, the rangers make it over there, uh, I'll actually like control one of them and then shoot the two remaining ones that are still uh, alive or <laughs> are still awake. Uh, of course, they'd all be alive, right? Hopefully. But in the meantime, while that's happening, I guess we'll make an enclosure over here for study, I guess you could say. So maybe, maybe we'll put like. Maybe we'll put it, like, right here next to the ranger habitat, or, uh, ranger station, or whatever that is right there. I don't know how big of an area these guys would want. Uh, no power? Is this, uh... Oh, it is electrified. Okay, so I guess it's always going to be electrified then, huh? So hold on. What do I, uh... Hold on, I am going to have to... Oh, I need to get used to the controls and the shortcuts and stuff of this game. Like I keep saying, like I keep referencing, I am so used to, like, Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo. <laughs> I am not used to these shortcuts. It has been a while since I've played, uh, Jurassic World Evolution, you guys. But here we go. Yeah, this actually seems like a pretty good spot we can put them in, you guys. So as long as at least one part... Eh, make it come out to about there. As long as at least one part... How do I make this stop uh, curving? Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, at least one part of the enclosure is touching... There we go. The electrified part in the whole uh, enclosure would be electrified, so that's good. And I'll put the, uh, the gateway like right there. That way the rangers can get in there easily. And then uh, I guess we'll have some feeders in there as well, so... Let's go over to enclosures, feeders, go down to ground herbivore feeder, here we go. Uh, probably going to want a little bit of water as well, so maybe I'll get like a lake, because they are, I'm like, they're literally hanging around a lake right now, so uh, maybe I'll just do, there you go. Yeah, it's a decent sized lake, pond, whatever you want to call it. What's happening over here? Oh, over here, yeah, okay, they're still getting knocked out, I guess. One, two, three, four, wait, hold on, what? They accidentally got a Gallimimus, whoops. <laughs> I guess I'll get the other uh, train, oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, you guys! Where is the, uh, ranger? I don't know where the ranger- Oh, they're heading back! Yeah, this one- Oh, look at that condition, you guys! Hold on, what's that look like? Oh, that is wrecked! Yeah! So we can't just send them over to do jobs anymore and expect them to just come back? No problem! We need to watch out for their durability, their- 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 their condition right there, so... Like I said beforehand, I'm going to be manually controlling them this time, though. So here we go, let's try and uh, single out that stego. I'm like, it is just drinking water, so let's compensate a bit. There's a hit, nice. Let's tranquilize, the other one's running around. Yeah, I can see why they uh, got that Gallimimus, it's like an accidental hit right there, you guys, golly. 
Uh, it's not instantly knocked out, though, so I might have to pursue. Try and get... Is it going to fall off the cliff? Don't tell me it's going to fall off the heckin' cliff. Got another hit. Oh, there you go, there you go. Administering sedative, and sedative has been administered. There's a hit. So yeah, we need to hit these guys twice. I want to do a full sedation. Ah, that was a miss. And... Ah, I saw that one. Just go over that cliff right there, you guys. <laughs> I might have to... Oh! Man, alright. Well, let's get back to the jeep. But, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to call the transport... Oh, what in the world? There's like an invisible barrier around that guy. I'm gonna call transport over here to, uh, to, to pick all these guys up. Oh, 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 he's heading towards us. Or, it was for a second. Try and get it now. Is still just one hit away? Yep, I think so. And... Okay, it's knocked out. Woo! Alright, let's get transport. Let's get transport to take these guys over to our new habitat enclosure we just built. That way we can study the effects of our, uh, our thing that we researched. Let's pick that one up as well. But yeah, we had like, what, six daggers or something like that? So that's number three. Here's number four. And, uh, I don't even know if this is... If this isn't big enough, we could always expand it here in the future. But for right now, this should be fine. To at least hold all six of these guys. I'm actually surprised we have enough uh, transport helicopters over here, you guys. I don't know how, how many we actually have. There you go. Or maybe, maybe we only have, like, four of them and they have to do, like, multiple trips or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, it looks like they're picking all of them up, though, so that's interesting. Huh. Alright, well... That's good. But yeah, isolate the group of stegosaurus from the other dinosaurs. That's what we're doing right here. Uh, I may even preemptively just make this a little bit bigger. Just because it's, it's barely even big enough to fit them right now. So, let me make it like come out to here, maybe. Asset collected. That's good to know. And who are those guys? Oh, that's a uh, arrival team. I guess guests, visitors, whatever you want to call them. So there you go. And uh, let's actually bulldoze that. There you go. And then maybe I'll... Uh, you know what? Yeah, we can keep that... Uh, that, that right there, I suppose. But yeah, I, I guess we'll have... Uh, do we have, like, a visitor... Uh, an observation deck or whatever it's called that people can actually see through? Uh, I forget where that would be. Guests? Oh, well, I guess emergency bunker. Yeah, that makes it. Let's definitely get one of those things. Let's see. Where should I put that? That would be easy for everyone to get to. Uh, maybe I'll put it, like, right here. Maybe I'll put it, like, right here. It seems pretty good. I don't know if I... Let's put it, like, right there, actually. Oh, God. I hit the wrong button. Can I make those pads, like, bigger, though? Oh, I think I can. Yeah, fancy pads. No, that's just the different colors, though. Hold on. Demolish mode, replace. Yeah, I don't think I can... Oh, God! That was weird. It, like, went, like, right through us. <laughs> yeah, I, we could only choose, like, how it looks, though. Normal and then fancy. Uh, I don't think we could actually make it physically bigger. I'm not seeing a bigger uh, version of the path, though, so that kind of sucks. So I suppose we'll just get the cheap path right there, and there we go. And, uh, stickers are being delivered over here. I do want to check... They want more okay, okay. They want more forest, and they, they can do with a little bit less grassland, so yeah. So add a little bit of forest, and we do have a lot of area over here. To add some of that, and uh, maybe I'll add some trees, like, right there in the water. Let's see. A little bit more forest, okay, that's good. And there you go. A little bit more trees right there, nice. I can add some grasslands, shrubbery, like this. Uh, what is this? Vibrant? I guess these are just different shrubberies that I can add. A little bit more forest, okay. That's good that I expanded this out a little bit, like, preemptively there, you guys. Let's see. I actually... I like how you see, like, heckin' birds and stuff spawning in there, too. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But here we go, we got stegos. Uh, they're nice and happy, so that's good. Alright, they're all isolated. Hold on. Do we have one stego or... Oh, okay, okay, yeah. We, we did have one that was, like, behind that was still uh, being delivered. So, yeah, we didn't have a... Uh, like six or whatever transport helicopters we had like five or something like that because one of them had to go back to the other one right there but yeah now we've just got parasaurs over here in like a gallon of so hopefully <laughs> isn't going to be like harmed or like panicked or anything like that from getting knocked out around all the stegos and stuff like that but i assume once we actually get this stego in this enclosure we're going to get this mission number three done or at least this part of mission number three and we're going to be nice and isolated and we can study the wild stegos uh oh yeah i, I bet next we're going to actually give them the medication. We're gonna have to shoot them with the, uh, the rangers to medicate them and, and then study how, like, these guys respond to, like, the, uh, the breeding medication, I guess you could call it. <laughs> I forgot exactly what it was called. Transportation complete. But there you go, transportation complete. Is that it? Is that all of them? Mm -hmm, maybe not. Let me go back to the map here. We're oh. administering the breeding countermeasure through the feeders. This is a huge step forward from the previous injection method. And Mr. Hammond wants to make sure this works. We'll observe the affected dinosaurs until we can confirm the effectiveness of the treatment. 
If this works, we won't have to trank the dinosaurs as much. That'll help with their anxiety as well. A prehistoric animal has to be confused when it's being chased by a vehicle. I mean, what point of reference could it possibly have? I really hadn't thought about it that way before. They're as afraid of us as we are of them. If, if I were afraid. Fear is a survival instinct, Cabot. Any animal without it won't be around long. <laughs> then I should be around forever. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Every time Cabot Finch has to come up with something to try and like prove himself and stuff. And always, yeah, I, I guess, yeah, they're, they're administering it through the feeders. That's actually pretty clever. Clever girl. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't have to shoot him with the, uh, the, the whatever you call it. Now we just have to play the waiting game, as you can see on the bottom right. Cool. Wait, what in the world? You can all eat from a feeder. Okay, so it got paused down there. So, I, yeah, I, I was wondering, like, can they all eat from that? But I guess not. Yeah, we only have one feeder, so let's actually get a second one. Maybe I'll put one over here. There you go. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll even get a third. We have six stagos. Maybe I'll get another one, like, right here, you guys. There you go. That's three things right there. Dispensing. This one's dispensed. And that one's heading over the- Okay, yeah, look at that. Okay, the countdown timer on the bottom right corner is going back down, so that's good. This one's coming over here to eat, because it was unable to eat out of this one over here. Is this one empty? No, okay, it's dispensing right now, I think. It's dispensing in zero minutes. Should be dispensing, right? <laughs> but yeah, less than a minute now, so... All we have to do now is just play the waiting game, and... Hopefully the, uh, the, the stegos are going to eat all the, the medicated food. And, uh, we'll be able to study him. Oh, we should observe the dinosaurs and look for behavioral changes. Photographic evidence should do. I'll get together a list. Ooh, okay. All right, well, let's photograph one of the isolated stegos. Let's go to the rangers. And look at that. Yeah, at the at the ranger station, the, uh, the ranger vehicles get repaired, as we read earlier. So, yeah, they're at 100% condition right now. Let's drive the vehicle. I wonder if we could actually photograph them through the gates. Or the, the fences, or whatever you want to call this, you guys. I wonder if it'd be good enough. They're running away. They're running to the far side of- Oh! Pfft. Running through the far side over here, so... Let's try and catch up with them and at least photograph one of them. Let's photograph. Here they are, there's a lot- Oh, whoa! What's happening? I don't know what's going on right there. It looks like they were whipping their tail back and forth or something. It's <laughs> so like running. Yeah, there you go, we got him. Believe they'd be able to take a picture of a living, breathing dinosaur? Well, I'm like, I've done it dozens, dozens of times before there, Cabot. Although you don't know it, it me from the future, I've done it. <laughs> 98 per oh yeah, because we crash into a thing. 98% condition, sheesh. Something's not right. There's an understatement. What do you mean? The animals here, they aren't responding like they did on Isla Nublar. I haven't seen any of the dinosaurs exhibiting symptoms. The two are not mutually exclusive, Dr. Grant. I think Dr. Malcolm... Ian, please. I think Dr. Malcolm is correct. But we need to be sure. He has to be called Ian, but she still says doctor. In their current state, the dinosaurs aren't eating or drinking. We need to identify the problem. Step one, slow them down, hit them with the trank dart. What are they doing? They're just running around in a circle. Literally running around in a circle right now, but yeah. But hit him with the trank dart now to kind of slow him down. But not hit him two times, because that knocks him out. So I guess hit him once and I'll slow him down. So there's one. There's another hit right there. Tranquilize the panicking stegos. So I guess, yeah, these ones right here, still panicking. That one right there, still panicking. Do you see the, the ones that are not, the, I guess we've already hit. They're not, oh wait, did I hit that one twice? It's knocked out, whoops. Oops, what about that one? There you go, okay, okay, there you go. Morning. Oh god! Oh my god! Okay, let's go. We just got- <laughs> We just got trampled right there, you guys. Holy heck! But I'm, I'm trying to, uh, maybe I'll switch out to the other rangers. Switch out to the other, other rangers, you guys. <laughs> so let them go back and get repaired and stuff. Uh, I suppose I'll get transport to pick these guys up and, and place them down. I, I don't know if we could actually, uh, like, wake them up or anything like that easily. Let me go to this one dry vehicle. Tranquilize the panicking stegosaurus. So I guess they're, I'm like, they're all panicking. I guess I only have to tranquilize one of them. They all look like they're panicking. I don't know which one specifically is panicking, unless it says to tranquilize all of them, like to knock them all out. If that's the case. I thought hitting them twice would be a bad thing, but I guess that's what we have to actually do. Yeah, look at that. The bar just went up as that one just got fully knocked out right there, you guys. Okay. I understand that. I thought we had to hit him once, because you guys know it, it takes two arrows 
or two two darts to fully knock him out. I thought hitting him once would, you know, calm him down a bit and then they'd be normal, but yeah, we have to knock him out fully. So that's uh boom, there's a hit. And we're dangerously close right now, you guys. And Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we just got hit right there. Under attack. Yep, sixty-eight percent on the condition. Doing a little bit better than the other one was. It got hit and it was down to like twenty something percent. There's a hit. Is it coming? It's coming over here, but it's not coming directly towards us. There you go. That one's going to be not there you go, it's knocked out. That was a miss. There you go, there's a hit right there. I do need to wait till the little circle in the middle, like, kind of stops, or, you know, the diamond shape. But yeah, there you go. Wait for the diagnostic test. Tests on these dinosaurs are coming back all over the place. It looks like these animals, they've been manipulated. Um, theories? I have plenty. Which one do you like the most? Hammond told us there was another company trying to steal InGen's research. Biosyn. Right. They got to Nedry. John believes it was Nedry's greed and Biosyn's money that became the catalyst for what happened to all of us the first time around. Hmm. And you think they're at it again? Or maybe they never left. Ooh. And the tests are done. Let's combat this first, then figure out who's to blame. We'll need to research and use a DNA sequencer to neutralize the effects of the faulty genome. The science needs to be right. Or the dinosaurs will be wrong. Dr. Grant, as long as we continue to interfere, the dinosaurs, uh, the dinosaurs will always be wrong. <laughs> All right, well, we've got the research thing on the way right now. I probably should have done that earlier on. I think it might have told me to do it earlier on, but I forgot to do it, I guess. But <laughs> there you go. Uh, I am curious, though. We have more buildings and stuff up and running. Yeah, we still have 64 unused power, so I don't think I need to worry about that right now. Uh, but now we just have to wait for this thing to finish constructing the research module, which it almost is. And then we will research the DNA sequencer that, uh, let's see, where is it? There it is right there. Okay, DNA sequencer. All right, there it is right there. Let's research that bad boy. Less than a minute remaining. And uh, we do have the ability to get two research teams. Where would we research that, though? Heckin' Mr. DNA in the middle there. Uh, that would be building upgrades, I think? Yeah, building upgrades. Do we already have it? Major team scheduling, research speed. Oh, we get. Oh yeah, I think we get it uh, from finishing this mission. Yeah, that's what it was. I thought we already had it, but no, we get it from finishing the mission. I wonder what we're going to do with Mr. DNA here in the future. I wonder if he's just a meme. Probably is. <laughs> so we get a DNA. DNA sequencer is finished now, so that's great. Deploy the revised breeding countermeasure to the stegos. We've developed a dart-based solution to the symptoms. The causes, however, they run right to the core of these dinosaurs, to their DNA. The fix will require a recompiled genome and new incubations. So I guess just medicate them, or, uh... Deploy the revised breeding countermeasure to the stegosaurus. So, yeah, let's go to medicate, let's go to dart white rifle, and shoot these guys while they're knocked out, I assume, huh? And... Boom. Yep. Breeding countermeasure deployed. The new and improved recipe. And I think they should all be knocked out, right? Even though we did take one of them and, uh, let's see, get out of this now, there you go. Oh, did I shoot that one? I think, yeah, oh yeah, okay, I think there's two in the background, okay. I don't worry about resupplying that in the back. Oh, 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 oh wait, I don't even need to shoot them. Oh wait, oh, I guess I do. I thought I just had to go near them and then click, but no, yeah, you have to actually shoot them, so there you go. Breeding countermeasure right there, and I wonder if I can hit that one in the background. Did you get it? Nah, I guess I'm dead. Man. I'm hitting it's like, stego plate, but I guess I'm not hitting it then. <laughs> I guess it doesn't count. You guess I have to actually hit it in the body then, huh? So let's apply the... Root. And... There you go. And that's that's all of them. Nice! Alright, let's see if that works. Hopefully that's a little bit better than what we had beforehand. The new and improved recipe. New and improved medication, I guess you could say. <laughs> Alright, let's go back and... I guess see if we need to, uh... Resupply this or not. I doubt we do. I don't want to waste any more. Oh, did I finish it? I finished the mission! All right, nice. $600,000, and there we go. Now we got the research Team Bravo available, and Dig Team Bravo as well. 